Yo, yo, it's your resident number one in the world, streamer here. We drafting. Had a good day on stream today. Just ended off with a very cool Necro Duality deck. Um, yeah, that card was nuts. Love it. Anyways, we here. We drafting for the YouTubes. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Pick one, pack one. We open a Falcon Wrath Forebear. It's a good, excuse me, it's a good card. Um, not any kind of bomb or anything. Uh, but it is just a solid rate flyer that can give you a bunch of value. Other good cards in the pack? Not too many. You got like a Screaming Swarm is fine. Celebrance is decent. Minister. I don't think you can really take anything except a Forebear though. Let's go ahead and take that and see what we get past. Curse of Hospitality. I hate this card. But... It is fun to play with. So the thing is, and I've said this so many times, if you're connecting with a creature, you're probably already winning that game anyways. Um, at its best, I think you're probably playing like a super go-wide deck with Curse of Hospitality, where you know you don't mind chump attacking with one of your random small creatures in order to get some value from the other ones that are connecting. That being said, I'm going to take it here because it is fun it is annoying, but I think this card gets uh, too much love from people maybe that don't understand um, the, the type of games where it's good, if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, we're passing another swarm here, an imprisonment, not too much else. I will take it though. It, it's a fun card. I just don't think it's that good. Okay, pick number three. What's it going to be here? Maybe a Panicked Bystander? Uh, Ancestral Anger is nice with Curse. Curse already gives Trample, but this uh, helps buff up your creature for a small amount of mana to help push through some damage. This pack's just really weak, though. In fact, I could even just see taking the Evolving Wilds here. Because none of these cards are... Very impressive overall. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. This is the safe pick. Keeps us open. Um, and maybe we can get some more signals. Holy moly, and that's a signal. Okay, fourth pick, Blood Tithe Harvester. Love this card. Fantastic. Just a great two drop. 3-2 uh, two for two already fine. And then, of course, extra value of making that blood token and being a removal spell later on. So, uh, passing what? Twin Blade Geist. It's another good one. Thirst for Discovery. But given what we have... The Harvester seems to make a lot of sense here. Another card I really, really don't like. Skulking Killer. Sometimes this kills something. The vast majority of the time it does not. Now, if I'm going to end up in red-black, which I'm definitely leaning towards right now, uh, it is okay as just a high-power vampire. But the vast, vast majority of the time, I am just going to pass this for any other card here. Uh, I think Blood Fountain's playable. Belligerent Guest is decent. Ceremonial Knife is fine. You don't need the knife as much in like a red-black deck where you're going to have a lot of treasure production, or sorry, blood production anyways. But uh, it is okay there. I think we're going to take one of these two, though. I think we're going to just take the Belligerent Guest over the Blood Fountain for now. And yeah, this is just a very easy socialite. Love this card. Um, I've talked about it also tons and tons and tons, but Menace Creatures in this format. Uh, there are plenty of them. There are some that are very good, like the Socialite. Like the four mana, sorry, five mana, four, four mana celebrants. Um, and it just makes it very hard to block. So when you're running a Curse of Hospitality deck, get some extra value that way. Mm. Guest number two or Lacerate Flesh number one. I am not a big fan of Lacerate Flesh, but I think we do want to try to cut off the signal as much as possible. Uh, so I'll take the first Lacerate Flesh here over the second Belligerent. And I don't know how big of a sign people think this card is, but I think Wedding Invitation is just going to be a much better pick here than Belligerent Guest, so easy pick up for me. We might even wheel some of those stupid guests. Really, uh, with this card, you want to have a lot of removal, duh, but uh, also some combat tricks. Like, Sure Strikes with this are very, very good. Uh, so if you can get some of those, that wouldn't be bad. But this is a pretty nice start to a red-black... Uh, Vampire slash Blood deck. 
Pick the Fearful Villager here. Another Menace creature that uh, overperforms as a 3-drop. Another one that's really good with combat tricks like Sure Strike as well, so... Uh, yeah, we'll be on the lookout for some combat tricks here. To help push through all of our Menace creatures, all of our Trampling creatures and whatnot. Good start. Not... Not anything busted going on here, but we just have very, very solid card quality overall. And, uh, I guess we're looking for what? Well, this is, this is now going to be the wheel pack, so I guess... No, 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 we already did the wheel pack. So I guess we're looking for... Yeah, I'm not expecting anything to come back, what am I talking about? We're just waiting for the next pack, pack two. That's when things are going to get good. Discussion. I'm already loading up on three drops, but there is a world where I play that. It does make some blood after all. Um, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, still trying to hold on to that number one spot for as long as possible. We're now, what, five days into it since I hit number one. So, hopefully we keep the winnings going. We went 21-9 uh, and nine today on stream. So, maintained a pretty decent win rate overall. I don't know what kind of win rate you need to hold on to number one. I guess it depends on how well the people below me are doing. Dollhouse of Horrors. Uh, yeah, that card is going to be good here. Works really well with creatures that have Enter the Battlefield abilities, like the Harvester, make a Blood Token. Um, Socialite makes a Blood Token. It's just a good late game card. We are passing quite a few, man, very playable red-black cards, but we should wheel something in that case, right? Awakening, Socialite, Grizzly Ritual, Vine, Villager, Celebrants. I don't think this is like a huge bomb or anything, but it's a good value card, and it's really good in blood decks where you're often pitching some number of cards anyways. This is a really pack, weak pack here for us. Uh, I suppose I'm not actually necessarily locked into black, am I? I could see myself taking Storm Chaser Drake here. First pick, the Forebear. What was it? Third or fourth pick, Blood Tithe Harvester. What am I taking here if I'm not taking Drake? Probably the Grizzly Ritual, which I don't like anyways. Okay, I'm going to take the Drake then and stay open. We'll see if this leads to something. Oof. Ramble Worm is pretty gosh darn good. But I almost now want to take the Lantern Bearer after taking the Storm Chaser Drake. I think this might be the best blue common in the format. Lantern Bearer has overperformed a ton, and it's like our blue looks really good with our red, so I th think we might end up doing this here instead. I might regret passing the Bramble Worm as we get past another one, but let's go down this route instead now. Because it doesn't look like there's much black going around. That's awkward. If I had taken the Bramble Worm last pack, I would take it this pack. I think I'm just going to pass it and ignore it now. So we're going to take either the Throng or the Anger. And let's take our Throng number one. We wield the Anger last time. Let's see if we can go down this. Okay. Flame Blessed Bolt. Just, again, pretend. Pretend I had taken Bramble Worms. I'd have two Bramble Worms and the Child of the Pack now, but we have... Bolt, which is completely reasonable, so. Awkward, yes, but, uh, well, I made my bed. I'm going to sleep in it now. Ceremonial Knife here is a good pickup. I've been really, really liking this card a lot more and more as the formats progressed. Uh, I don't think Vampire's Vengeance is what we want. We're actually just going to take the 2-3 Flyer here to go along with our curse. Sure, another belligerent guest is fine. So now the wheel packs are coming around. After this pick. Yeah, and we wield some of the black cards and the fearful villager. 
Um, they both have evasion. I think I like the villager a little bit more. Just because it blocks better than the spirit does. And, okay, we'll play this Hungry Ridge Wolf, probably. Siphon Essence not terrible, sure. Creature count's a little bit low, but uh, I think we're ending up in an okay position. Hey, we did wheel the Anger, too. Nice. Uh, so I need to get in pack three some of those Kessig Flame Breathers. This is... Okay, yeah, we got a Whispering Wizard. Not bad. More rare lands. Exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, um, take the Whispering Wizard here, hoping to wheel either the Retrieval or the Sure Strike. Good pack there for us, though. Another Whispering Wizard. Fantastic. And you know what? Whispering Wizard is completely nuts with Curse of Hospitality, too. Like, if you can just go off and make a bunch of tokens, right? We went for the fun route. Let's hope this works out. <laughs> Why do I want to play this? It's going to wheel, right? I probably don't need to take it this early. <laughs> kind of want to take it, though. It's funny. <laughs> like, this, this is a deck that might be able to use that, uh, uh, utilize that. I guess the real pick here is just going to be another two-drop Ridge Wolf. Maybe be on the lookout for some more werewolves and wolves to, to help bolster those powers. We're going to wheel that Ancestral, I would guess, since we've been wheeling all the other ones. Uh, Markov Retribution. I have two vampires, so not good enough here. So this is just going to be a sure strike. That combat trick I was talking about for this deck. Another Alchemist Gambit. <laughs> No, we'll just take our second throng. Good pickup. That's funny. If they wheel, I'll take them. And maybe try playing them just for the hell of it. But for now, we need to stick with our game plan. Uh, wedding Invitation's probably a cut. I still don't like this Lacerate Flesh, but I guess I don't have much removal. Hmm... Spirit and Siphon Essence, maybe. We might... We, like, we're trying to be super proactive, so I don't know if the Essence is what we necessarily want here. Cruel Witness. Yeah, I think we want another Flyer. One that doesn't cost six mana seems good. Impulse would also be nice, but uh, I think that Witness is going to take, take it here just by a little bit. Scattered Thoughts. Another Sure Strike. A Weary Prisoner. Uh, yeah, we can... We can take the Scattered Thoughts here. A little bit of card draw never hurt. I'm guessing we can probably get away with 16 lands in this deck at the end of the day. My biggest upset thing here is that I didn't get another Lantern Bear. I guess we could still technically get one, but... Ooh, a Wandering Mind. I'm not going to complain about that one. That's... Another card that's really good with Dollhouse, too. Good enters the battlefield ability. Flyer. Okay. We just need a little bit more tempo. No crippling chills, no bounce effects. There we go. Bounce on the wheel. That's going to help quite a bit. Um... Makes it so what? I can cut something here. Don't think we're going to be playing any more of these. Need to make like one cut. Need to make like two cuts. I'm pretty sure I want to cut this last raid flesh. That's going to also help going down to 16 lands. Maybe just one of the belligerent guests can be cut. I don't think Ambush is a bad combat trick here, for the record. Wow, we didn't see a single Kessig Flame Breather, though. Hmm. It's a little bit unfortunate. We're at 15 creatures right now. Curve actually looks pretty good.
Yeah, maybe just cut one of the belligerent guests. And then do I want to try to get that serpentine ambush in for something? Mm, don't think so. I think we're going to run it like this. Go 8-8. Eight, eight. Not the re best red-blue deck I've ever drafted. I would probably give this one... Four wins, three wins. But you never know. Magic's magic. And as the number one drafter in the world, I can make anything uh, work, you know? Clearly. No sarcasm. Playing against the number eight. Okay. We actually have a high ranking match here where I've successfully won the die roll because I'm brilliant. Opening hand is really good, too. Turn two Ridge Wolf, turn three another Wolf. I think this is going to work out real well, especially when we curve into the uh, Curse of Hospitality afterwards. As they have Storm Chaser Drake. Yeah, that's good too. Alright, mirror match. Let's race. Sure. I don't mind that trade. Darren Epicure. Hmm, I think because I drew the land, I'm actually just going to equip the villager this turn and attack. And then play my, out, my land and pass. This also plays around them having a syncopate. It also flips my villager, which is quite nice. But I think it's better there to uh, get the blood token. Oh, they did have a syncopate, see? Easy money. Five cards in their hand still. Pass. All right, let's go ahead and pitch one of these lands. Wizard and another villager. Okay, yeah, we need to develop out our board, so let's just go hit them with, for another five. Um, and play out another villager, see if they have a counter. Feels like they do, huh? Siphon essence, maybe. Another syncopate. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and discard this mountain right now, and if we draw another one, we'll just play out the land. But hey, if they're just holding up counters and taking five, that's okay by me. I have a planes now. Repository scab, sure. Get back a syncopate, okay. Ah, double spell turn, fantastic. So that flips us back into the night. And let's go ahead and I think trade our villager for their scab because they're going to double block. Gives us a blood token. Let's just play out our wizard. Land, pass. Celebrance is good, but now we have a window to resolve our curse underneath a counter. And once we get these flyers online, it's going to be really awkward for them, absolutely. Actually, what I could do here is I could discard the Lantern Bearer to the Whispering Wizard. Sorry, I could discard the Lantern Bearer to the Blood and then suit up the Whispering Wizard. Hit him for four and make a one one. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Also, if I draw another land, I can play out the throng. Great.
This means that they're going to need to do something. They can't just sit on their counter. So we're really taxing the syncopate in their hand. Swamp? What is going on? Okay, lacerate flesh, get a blood, hit me for four. Oh, maybe they don't attack. Okay. It's good for us that they're attacking, because now the throng's going to trample over the epic here. Oh, this could win, even. Alright, they're going to go to two life here. We're going to get two triggers of that curse. We're hoping to hit a land and a one drop would be insane. Oh my god. <laughs> we hit a land and a Voldaren Epicure. The actual perfects. <laughs> uh, that's funny. They need to uh, find an answer to the flyer first and foremost. Yeah, there goes their syncopate. That is too good. Just passing. Sure. Let's go ahead and uh, look for some business then. Pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go for a wizard here. Bounce their celebrants. And now they have two lethal creatures that they need to vie with. I'm also making a 1-1 token. Okay, Lunar Rejection on the token. They need a Blessed Bolt here. Nope. And we got him. Nice. Not today, number eight. The Nummy is number one for a reason. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. It's a good win. <laughs> uh, hitting exactly land and Epicure was so funny. <laughs> uh. Curse of Hospitality, truly... Truly a meme and a dream. It goes both ways. Uh, I think people overrate the card. I probably underrate the card. It's somewhere in the middle, as is usually the case with most things. Um, but like I said, though, with the double whispering wizard pickups, in I think we picked them up in pack three. That really, really helped it out. So good stuff there. That is not good stuff there. That is a mulligan to six. Okay, that is a good hand. We're actually pitching the dollhouse here. It's just way too expensive. Way too slow for us. Okay, we've got the curse and a dream, I guess. Mm, we might even have the same curve. Turn two villager, turn three. Sorry, turn two ridge wolf, turn three villager if we can hit a land here. Spore Crawler. That is indeed the perfect target for a Blessed Bolt, but we're going to lead with the Villager here and not attack. We just want to draw a Mountain next turn. The only downside about not immediately killing their Spore Crawler is if they have a Wolf Strike. They can Wolf Strike down the Villager with their Crawler now. But this is just way too mana efficient, so... Come on, mountain. Knife. Okay, well, let's attack in for two menace. Now I'm going to play the curse and pass. 
If they double blocked, we would have sure struck and blown them out. I might use a bolt now on my wolf. Yep. Felt like they had that. We're in a really bad spot if they have another removal spell, because I've got no creatures. Aerith? Wow. Okay. Well, let's attack in, and if they double block, I can sure strike. Kill the Aerith. Do not get to kill both of their creatures, sadly. But at least I don't lose mine. Ah, we really needed to hit another red source here earlier. Oh, they hit land and lacerate flesh. Yeah, so they get to... I need to draw a mountain next turn so I can play Wandering Mind plus Bolt there, Spore Crawler. Mm, that's not good. They're just going to have a little bit too much pressure on me now. And look at this, yeah. The lack of red is killing us. So much damage lost. Or rather, so much damage taken from the Spore Crawler by not having that Bolt available. Well, this is where you see Curse of Hospitality do its normal thing, where... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That is... Almost fantastic. I think my only play here is to Drake. Anger the Drake, draw two, and hope to draw a mountain in one of those. Nope. Well, now we're just dead. If I had drawn a mountain, we'd be, able to, we'd be able to bolt the Spore Crawler, and maybe we can do something, but... I guess I needed to attack with the Wandering Mind and hit a mountain. No, but then I needed to chump with the Drake. Yeah, this is GG. Hmm. Crucial, crucial having the second red source, and we just never found it. Good game. I, I, I don't have anything I can do about that. I wonder if... Uh, I mean, there were some parts earlier in the game where I, like, I died with Bolt in my hand, and the Spore Crawler dealt like 9 damage to me. Or 6 damage or something. So, maybe instead... No, I... I, I think it was 100% correct to run out the villager when I did on turn 3. That was just super mana efficient and good. It was the turn I played the curse. That's what it was. I played curse after attacking, and it just didn't do anything. And then I fell behind. The turn I played curse, I needed to bolt their spore crawler. Yep, yeah, that was the play. That was the play. That... And then after that, it was a whole spiral, because I had too many red cards stuck in my hand. So. Okay. I mean, it still made sense to play the uh, the curse, but that's where it took a turn. Because I died with four red cards in my hand and one mountain to be able to cast them. On the draw here for our next game with a fine hand. Not good, but it's fine. Hopefully we don't have another one of those mountain issue games. We've got two drop into three drop though, all three games we've played thus far, so... Certainly can't complain about that. We'll be happy to trade if they want to. We have the bounce spell in hand, so... That's fine by me, plus that way we get our throng out of the deck before we can draw it, since we only have two. Do I want to cycle this anger before I bounce their harvester? That's the real question. I think so. And the next turn we have a bunch of different plays. 
go ahead and get rid of that 4-3 for now. Diagraph scavenger, sure. That's annoying. Makes my dollhouse awkward, but so be it. Let's just go with the flyer then. Still only on one red source, but... Hmm. Yep, that's okay. I'll take two. Another recluse, that's fine. We'll swing in for three. We'll play our two three and our two two. I'm surprised they didn't attack with. Oh, wait, of course, I have a two three. I was going to say, I'm surprised they didn't attack with their two one into my two three. some important turns here. Okay, I think I'm just going to dollhouse and pass. Keep that on top. It's a free roll. Yeah, discards a swamp. They attack with a celebrant. I think I'm gonna double block it with my villager and my throng. Yep. Well, actually, now if they go like this, I'm just gonna double block here. Because now I only lose one creature. And they only have a swamp open, so unless they have the malice, that's good for me. Okay. Get our flyer out of the yard. Let's go ahead and surveil, pump and draw. We do not want island. There's the curse. Well, it's not getting much better. And I can always hit a mountain off of them to cast the Ridge Wolf as well. This is a greedy turn, but mountain is the ideal draw. Two drop, alright, so that's gone forever. I'm gonna take a bit of damage this turn. The safer play was just to hold up like Sure Strike or play out the Wolf. But goddamn, am I greedy. Yep. Chipping them in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guess I'm trading and chumping. This gives them a two two zombie. I take five, go to six. This is so greedy. <laughs> and they're still at twenty one. <laughs> Uh, we're very dead. I have to attack and find something, right? I guess I might as well find two things. No, no, that doesn't work. Pretty good. All right. Uh, well, not saying I'm dead on on board, but I am dead on board. Yep. Oh, you damn curse of hospitality! You're so bad when you're behind. All right, you got me. Ah, uh, I mean. Kind of on me, of course. I've cast the 
the last game maybe not so much but this game casting the curse of hospitality and hoping to draw exactly a mountain off of their deck was really greedy now had i done so we'd be in a good spot i would have played out the three two uh we would have been able to trade with more creatures take three less damage or something four less damage i don't know okay no more memes We'll leave the curse in the deck, but we're not going to cast it unless it's absolutely the correct play. If you're wondering how to throw away your uh, your rank, this is this is the way to do so. I wonder if the dollhouse is actually not super good in this deck as well, because this deck is just trying to kill super quickly and not necessarily grind. Could be a reasonable, reasonable line of thought. Uh, on the play, decent enough hand. Really looking for something to do on turn two, but we have got a good bevy of creatures afterwards. All right, well, there's our creature on turn two. Let's lead on the guest as I don't care if this gets killed as much, but also, more importantly, it gives me blood, potentially. So if I miss on a land next turn, I can uh, blood it away. Yeah, they don't, they don't even have a good block here, so... Easy attack. Get a blood token. Let's go ahead and pitch our Ridge Wolf. Try to find another land. Not good. I think there is a little bit of merit to bolting the Dissenter. Um, or holding up Bolt because they could have um, an exploit creature. But in red-black, I'm less concerned about that. I actually think we're going to exile the Dollhouse. These other creatures are just too more, too much more relevant. Yeah, we'd rather just like play out flyers and whatnot now. Just gonna play out the cruel witness and pass. Gonna wait to play the uh, wizard until I get to five mana, so we can go wizard bolt and immediately get the value there. Sure, I will happily trade here. Grab the other throng out of the deck. Okay, that's fine too. Nice, let's attack for three. And now it doesn't actually make sense to uh, play out the wizard because we have nothing to bolt. So let's go Wandering Mind. <laughs> oh, good old Curse of Hospitality. <laughs> On here. Okay, no blocks now. We have found the perfect bolt target. Let's go whisper, whisper, whispering wizard. Bolt the farmer, make a one one, surveil for one. Put the other whispering wizard on top. Because with our cast of the Curse of Hospitality next turn, and with as many creatures as we have, it's going to be pretty likely that we uh, get a land off of them. Ooh, Cemetery Desecrator. Yeah, that card's very good. Surprised they didn't attack here. All right, make a 1-1, one, one, target them with the curse. Attack with both of our flyers, hit two cards from their library. Butler and a Rending Flame. Pretty good. Let's kill the 5-4. We don't want to kill the Desecrator because it has that uh, ability when it dies. Hey, look! Rending Flame did something, but you know what? It would have also just won the game if it was like a chill from the grave, so... Uh, two and two. Let's go.
It's just, the card is fun. It's definitely a feels bad for the person that's getting cursed. But it's it's pretty fun to be able to take cards from your opponent's deck and be like, oh, I will do this now. Oh, thank you so much. But yeah. Good beats, sweet treats. Opponent gets deletes. Ah. The things I do. The things I do, I swear. Two and two. We're going to win the next three, guaranteed. And then after that, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but hopefully we'll win the two more after the next three, guaranteed. The correct play is to win the die roll, which I will definitely do. Curve out, which I will also definitely do. And three, don't punt. No guarantees on that one, but I think I can do the first two. Watch this. Die roll. Play. This game is rigged. This game is freaking rigged. And look what's in our hand again, ladies and gentlemen. The gosh. <laughs> I mean, this is a good hand for it, I think. I guess if the opponent plays a 3-3, three, three, I can't I can't attack, but. Oh boy, what have I become? Can I get a land, please? I didn't want to bolt that end of turn because it doesn't do anything by itself. They need something else to make it relevant. Oh, God. That is a card I would call relevant. All right, let's play the Fearful Villager here and attack. If they want to trade, they have to double block. Yikes. I think their three mana enchantment might be slightly better than mine. Tough to say, though. Sure. So they're going to attack for two and then draw a card. Oh, they don't have a land drop, though, so they don't get to make one here. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, let's curse them this turn, then. And try to hit a land off the top. Nice. Awkwardly, now that I didn't kill the Parish Blade earlier, it's going to turn in... Well, no. Oh, yeah, it's going to turn into a 2-3 at end of turn here. But... I guess that's fine. Uh, the Anthem is so freaking good, dude. I didn't draw land. Alright, let's get our 3-3 flyer online. It stops their 2-2s. Two what they're going to do is attack with their infantry and their trainee. Their trainee is going to become a 3-4, but my wolf can trade with the infantry at least. I'm gonna get. This is another game where I'm gonna get punished for not firing off the bolt earlier. It feels like. Need to draw lands here really bad. If I can get the wizard online and make an extra token, we're gonna be okay. So punished. I mean, on the bright side, by holding this, I will get an extra 1-1 one, one out of the deal, but that 1-1 one, is just going to end up chumping the creature I would have killed anyways. I wonder if they're just going to pass here with maybe, like, Fierce Retribution open. Hmm. What do you got, man? Or am I just disconnected? 
Oh, no. Kissy kiss me. Okay, so two damage. They're probably going to rummage away then. Would be my guess. I right, discards a heron of hope. Does not find the land. Let's swing in for three. Find something good. Diagraph Scavenger is freaking fantastic. Very nice. Get to eat their Drog Skull. Get to gain some life. Get to play out a Death Toucher. Holy smokes, that was a good draw. Thanks. Hey, pay two life. All right, now we're just... Wow, they're missing lands. They're just getting very unlucky. Oh, combo here, by the way. We have Death Touch and Trample with our Diagraph Scavenger now, too. So... This attacks very well. Yeah, we're just taking and racing. Stupid dollhouse. We don't even want that. Oh, they're just taking it. Okay. Double trigger. Cavalry and a fierce retribution. We don't want those. Play that. And I'm going to bolt right now so they, they can't use a trick. We'll take an island. Our hand is all gasoline anyway, so extra lands can't be bad. Yeah, this is just really unlucky for the opponent. They got very mana screwed. That's the fourth land. Well, I guess we stole one, so five lands they saw in the top half of their deck. Nice. But they can't attack. And again, Death Touch plus Trample there is going to probably be GG. Uh, well, actually, I can't kill him this turn, can I? Wait, what if I Dollhouse? Dollhouse 2, 3. I could put him to 1 this turn. So let's just attack with both these then. Okay, Death Touch Trample. We're going to get double trigger. I'm pretty sure they're going to be a little bit sad about their lands, of course, but... Let's just play out on the other lethal flyer and hold up the dollhouse. Sorry, the Scattered Thoughts to make a token. Maybe they can attack in Wrath, and then I just dollhouse them out of the game anyways. It's not good enough. All right, GG's. They had a very good start, but they just got extremely mana screwed, so. Sometimes it takes a little bit of luck, you know? More importantly, we got to see more of <laughs> Curse of Hospitality in action. <laughs> All right, I'm done talking about that card. It's in our deck. It's doing its thing. In fact, worse than Curse of Hospitality, like I said, this dollhouse is not not really carrying its weight it's the most expensive card in our deck and yeah like i said we're not trying to really grind we're trying to kill our opponents as quickly as possible so um while it is a good card it's not uh it doesn't fit the deck's plan it's more like a good card that's just stuffed into the deck so anyway GG go next. Let's see if we can win. No, like I said, we're guaranteed two more wins. Right? I promised. Yeah. And I wouldn't lie. Ever. Especially to a random viewer like you. Uh, Let's see. So this Friday, Alchemy drop. Sorry, this Thursday, Alchemy drops. We'll be trying some amount of that. It's the new arena only. 
gameplay. New cards, new business. Oh god, again the dollhouse. <sighs> Let's go turn one knife, turn two Drake, hopefully turn three wandering mind. As our opponent goes traveling. Nice, we did hit the third land, so I don't even need to sweat next turn. I will take your one. And we'll swing for two. Play another flyer. Let's take the bounce here. If we had seen an Ancestral Anger, we would immediately take that because it uh, makes our Drake draw two. But I think we want to tempo with the flyers that we have. Eight pound judge. All right. I like how they're still attacking too. Oh, I wish I had that sure strike back, huh? I almost want to block. In fact, I think I will now. Let's gonna go. Let's we're gonna go play for that grindy year game now. Is my plan. God damn it! That thing can't attack until it gets three counters, but it can block. So don't forget that. Sure, that's fine. It's also okay. Oh, missing lands here is brutal. I guess I'm going to go like this and attack. Offer the trade for their desperate farmer if they double block. I just want the blood token. I'm surprised they didn't double block. Let's discard wolf. The land, good. So we're going to take three lifelink. We go to a 5-5 five, five on that. Um, You know, given my position, I might just want to slam the Curse of Hospitality down. I might need to try to find an answer from their deck, if that makes sense. I'm going to play the land beforehand as well, so I can use the retrieval. In combat. We are in a really rough spot, though. Okay, so we're gonna have to, like, retrieval the Faithbound Judge now. Ugh. I don't see how we're winning this. Take six, they gain three again. Sure. That's fine, okay. Lead dry pass is okay by me. Go double spell. So now it's just the flyer that's the biggest issue. We actually want to draw a land next turn so I can go dollhouse and immediately reanimate my uh, uh, one of my flyers. Ah! We really needed them to not double spell there. That's so gross. And they took the wandering mind too. Damn it.
Okay, well, at least that trades with their quartermaster. I need them to brick this turn. Can't beat anything. Go ahead and take two. Land? Alright, did find the land. And start quartermastering. Um, doesn't really matter which one I hit here, because I, I have need to double block the scavenger next turn. And then I need to get a flyer next turn after that to block the judge. That's fine. Uh, so, we are going to hit our Cruel Witness. And we are going to cast Scattered Thoughts Surveil 1. Put that in the graveyard. Land. Bolt. out the throng. Pass. Again, need them to not draw a removal spell this turn. Good. Need them to also not draw a s <laughs> creature this turn. Are they going to suit up their faithbound judge? No, I think they're going to pass here because that judge is... Oh, they are. Okay. Hey, Lantern Bear is fantastic. So I don't, I can't really, like, the safest play is just to get my flyer back. And then play out my other flyer. I guess. Yeah, let's get the flyer back. Play out the other flyer. Equip here, because that's the one we're going to be chumping with. If they hadn't uh, equipped the Drog Skull, I'd be able to flame Blessed Bolted in Exile. It would be so good. Return. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what we're looking for. Get to make a bunch of 1-1 one, one flying tokens now to stabilize. Holy crap. We might be able to pull this off now. The thing having vigilance is so gross for me. Sure. Alright, now what we can do is we can go nab... Our menace creature. Bolt the Parish Blade trainee, make an extra 1 1. Attack for 2 menace. Get a card from their library. Oh! How's an imprisonment taste, sucker? Discard a land. Discard land. Alright, I talked crap about Dollhouse, but this is the game that it went nuts. Holy smokes. Sleep back one blocker. Mill them for four, take four of their cards. Um, 
play around a wrath, it might be better to save this wisp. Well, no, I have the dollhouse anyways. Never mind. Okay. So we can go wizard plus anger. Make a bunch of flyers. <laughs> How did we pull that one off? My god. Oh, right. Well, now it doesn't matter what we do. We got to curse. We got to dollhouse. The curse was irrelevant. The dollhouse was mwah, so good at keeping us alive there. Just, just buying us chumpers until we could buy or find our uh, whispering wizards. Holy smokes, man. Hey, like I said, though, I guaranteed three wins, so that's two of them. Uh, that means I'm going to win the next game without fail. And then after that, just win the, the two after. Yeah, easy. I feel bad for the opponent. Like, they were crushing me, but then they started flooding out really bad. Whew. That got the blood pumping. Okay. Go, go. Batter up. On the play, our hand is a piece of garbage. Let's go to six. Much better. Gonna pitch the bounce spell here. We have Bolt for early interaction. Hopefully we can scatter thoughts on Curve. Or even better, Cruel Witness on Curve into a scattered thoughts would be nice. Raggedy Recluse. It's a good draw on turn three, I will say that. Well, we followed rule one of being on the play, and we are currently following rule number two of curving out. Let's see if we can get another curve out play here with a witness. That's not bad. So I think what I'm going to do here is smash with both. I'm going to sure strike my Drake to draw a card. I want to hit a land, and then we're just going to bolt their farmer. Oh man, I cannot escape this dollhouse. Look, you were good once, dollhouse. Stop it. Alright, they got a bolt of their own. Island. Oh man, on the Drake that would have drawn too. Alright, but did find another land finally. I mean, the opponent's under a lot of pressure, but they have a bunch of cards in their hand. Oh, but they're flooding. Oh, they floodin' bad. Right, they're not attacking here. That'd be crazy. Let's play our 3-3 flyer and pass. That's fine. That is also fine. Yeah. Let's go. Smack him for three. Play out the wizard since they didn't have removal last turn. Or at least removal that could deal with the three toughness. They could easily have a gift of fangs or something for that, but... We're just blocking here. We don't want to give them a blood token. Creatures dying is okay if we somehow end up going to a long-term game with our dollhouse. Opponent just has a bunch of random critters though, so... Let's go. Dollhouse, make a token, surveil for one. Putting a creature in the graveyard is just straight up value. Let's go ahead and get back our throng, because if this dies, we will be able to get the other throng from our deck. Hit him down to two, say, what's up, your go. Shake my hand. See? I promised you three wins when we were two and two, and now we're five and two. Therefore, three wins. It's easy money. Does I have a heart attack? Five, two, let's go. Two more, two more, two more. I will not be satisfied with any anything but another two wins, okay? One more win, maybe. Maybe I'd be okay with, but I wouldn't be satisfied. There's a big difference. Anyways. 
hit that like and subscribe button right now. Because I have nothing else to say while we wait to find a match. Stand up. Stretch out. Look outside the window for a minute. Posture check. Drink some water. Actually, don't stand up. And don't look outside. Because then you would be... Well, not watching me. After you're done watching me, go do those things. Good. Did I eat up enough time? Next game, we are on the draw. Our hand, we keep having opening hands of Ridge Wolf and Fearful Villager. This one's okay on the draw. As we have two drop, three drop with one land. Thankfully we did find that uh, island though, immediately off the bat. Another red black deck here. Okay. Hmm, drew our second throng. I don't actually want to attack here. I'd rather wait. That way if they have a removal spell, I can still trade with their guest. Necklace. Wedding invitation, okay. Well, they may, they may be just use that on their guest anyways. Get their blood token if they want to. Or not. Oh, they're thinking about it. Sure, do it. Oh, okay. I'm also fine just trading here. That's good by me. Go ahead and anger. Try to find another land. Did not find the land, but we drew the Storm Tracer Drake after we used our anger. Sad. I don't think I'm very favored this game. Ooh, Edgar. I mean, they get a lot of blood tokens, but that's not bad for eating up their turn. Island? Not good. Yeah. Well, we probably deserve this after getting those last couple wins, huh? Two, three, flyer. Maybe they just have a bunch of junk in their hand and they're going to cycle away. It's fine by me. Yeah, another mountain gone. Back for one unblockable, that's right. Well, not unblockable, but rather I cannot block it. That is A-OK -okay by- holy- why- okay, so that makes no sense. There's absolutely zero reason they should, uh... Give that minus two, minus two, when they just played a two, six. God. <laughs> uh... This is... This is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it looks like they're just drawing lands. More blood? Sure. All right, I mean, hey. Passing immediately into... Actually, you know what? I think we just go ahead and attack for two here. And play out our 4-3 Menace. Because they have to attack with that card. They're kind of close to dying here. In fact, I could kill them in theory next turn with Sure Strike. I 
am going to block here, though. Reason being is they have the wedding invitation, so if I randomly just take a little bit of damage, they can kill me out of nowhere. Alright, shuffle, 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 put a land on top, I hope. So we've seen three lands and 16 cards. They're going to sack the blood token this turn. If they play two spells, though, that means their werewolf is also flipping back, which buys me more time. But they didn't. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the kill. And I think I'm going to do it to the ground creature. Wow. Ah, that sucks. They had it. But the good news is, if I didn't draw land, at least I drew a one drop to flip their uh, werewolf back. But that kind of sucks for me. Hmm. I guess maybe I shouldn't have gone for it. I don't know. Maybe I could have just played my other throng and played the knife. What a very strange game. They only have one creature to get back with that, but they might it might be right for them to get back their uh their vampire because they can gain three life and make more blood with it if they do. Yeah, I don't even think that's a bad play by them. I drew the bolt for it, though. Alright, that's hilarious. I need to kill this now so it doesn't flip back into night. Otherwise, I wouldn't have cast a spell this turn. What is this game? This is insane! <sighs> I mean, again, it was their misplay, right? They gift, they cast Gift of Things on my 2-2 two -two when they played a 2-6 instead of putting it on my spirit. I think that's what's gonna ultimately decide this game, win or lose. Oh, hilarious path of peril. All right, get this stupid curse of hospitality out of my hand and give me an island. Oh my god, are you kidding? Are you ab- Halfway through my deck, we have three lands. Then again, halfway through their deck, they've drawn like 15 lands, but that means now they're going to just start drawing spell- Yep, here we go. Here we go. That's unreal. That's so unreal. They might even just sacrifice Sorn and make another 2-3 flyer here. What a strange game. Found their white splash, by the way. Now, they can still uptick Sorn and not put the card in their hand. So I guess that it just makes sense for them to still uptick. Because it's a free roll. If they do find, like, a land, they just draw it for free. Ooh, it must be, like, a two-mana or a three-mana spell if they're thinking this hard.
This game's insane. One player has seen, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 land. Oh. Okay, well. GG's. <laughs> so, their mistake was casting that uh, gift of things on my 2 2. My mistake was going for lethal when I didn't need to and then running into their. Running into their uh, hero's downfall when I didn't need to. If I just attack with both there, they need to do something still. I don't waste my sure strike. I can still play out the throng and the knife. Yeah. So, both players made some mistakes. I made the bigger mistake, I think. Because I was already so far ahead. I didn't, like, even though I was missing land drops, I needed to not cast sure strike. I also threw away some amount of damage. I mean, I think using it on the flyer makes less sense, though. Because if they did have a removal, at least they kill my ground creature, which they can block. The flyer was just hurting them a lot, but... Oof! That one stings. In the end, that was my fault. I was given the opportunity, even with a complete mana screw, versus their flood. Ah, oh, awkward game. But you know what? Again, I'm happy. We got to the five wins like I guaranteed. We got some games where we got to cast the Curse of Hospitality and uh, that one game where the dollhouse was really fun. So GG's all around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Still number one. Hit that like and subscribe. See you next time.